Okay, we're, we're up here to introduce a very special person who's going to come and entertain the crowd tonight, this evening. Oh, but we're going to give some time, we had some extra time if anybody wanted to ask some questions. Nothing hard, no arithmetic, you know? It's simple stuff, huh? Yeah, I asked DJ, I said, why do you need two guys to introduce Jimmy? He, he says, because he's an important guy. Yeah. He's a very important guy, and he's coming down here, taking his time out to entertain us and to fight for freedom. That's right, and I don't know, how many have had the food so far? Who's had the food? Woo! How much food do we have? We have plenty of food still yet. Shock on the food. If you haven't had yeah. the, uh, the cabbage, it's on. Tell him, tell him. You got to go there. Tell him. Choke food left. Choke food left. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't had yet, but I'm waiting because I know at the end of the day there'll be some left for me. Yeah. You know what's cool? It's actually really awesome to be up here with you, Vijay. Oh, thank you again. You know, uh, it's thank so you. good. You know, you know, you're one of the minds that I really respected up there. I really knew that when you came up to say something, when we had a question and answer, that you know what? A lot of times I learned from you. I sat there and I was like, you know, Gary's onto something, and I really, I really appreciate it. And I really, I had a great group of people, the gubernatorial candidates that we had. We had so many, so much different diversity of our strengths, you know, and I was just, I had a great time. And you taught me a lot in this. Thank well, you. I can tell you Thank that, you. Uh, I, you know what I loved about uh, BJ's campaign is I loved the story you had with Kai. Oh. I loved the story when Kai said, uh, you'll have to listen. Yes. That, that's, that word of truth is exactly what the government is telling you now. You have to listen. This yeah. is a lie. And your stand, and that stand was so clear. Uh, every time you said it, it resonated. No, I do not have to listen to that. Yes, and and you know, I have to um, thank my campaign manager, Keiki. We were talking and uh, thank you for everything, Keiki. She, she did some very brilliant things. And one of them was that beautiful picture she made of me. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was pretty darn good. Who liked the picture? <laughs> but Keiki, you know, she told me, BJ, always go out and tell that story. Say why you ran. And that's what happened. You know, I heard they were making a vaccine passport to go on the airplane. And the first thing I thought was, oh no, I, I'm going to be stuck on the big island. I'm not going to be able to leave. I'm not going to be able to see any of my cousins on other islands and my friends. And I didn't get to see Gary. I, you know, I wouldn't, I would have been uh, missed out on so much, yeah. you know? And, and I, I told him, I said, Kai, Kai Kaheli was, was doing it. And I said, Kai, why are you doing this vaccine passport? Why are you pushing this? What happens if it passes? And Kai, Kai says right on the phone to me, and we've known each other since we were kids, and he tells me, you're just gonna have to listen. And that's when I, I was like, what? I'm gonna, I go, you're gonna have to listen to me, tell everybody the truth about you. I go, act like King Kamehameha, act like George Washington, act like somebody fighting for us. That's right. You know? And then my brother whispers in my ear, he ain't gonna fight for us. And I, and I, and I ended up coming out and, here I am, and I've met so many wonderful people that have educated me so much on this journey. And and here, here's another one. So I just wanted to tell my story one That's more time. That's awesome. That's a great story. And I, we actually have time to take two questions, or four questions from the uh, from you. So if you have a question, come right, I'll hand you the mic. You can, have, you can ask BJ or I a question. If you have a question, now is it, don't, you know, opportunities pass. Of course, you may not be interested. I understand that as well. But if you have a question, now's the time. The kids ran away. The kids ran. You know, out of the mouth of babes, right? You know, it's like, really? I don't want to talk to you. I do want to say, uh, yes, ma'am. Where to from now? Where to, to who? From now. For both of us? Yeah. Okay. Moving forward. Moving forward. Somebody just asked me that question. What are you going to do now? I don't actually know what the next step is, but I know that I'm called to move forward. I know that I'm not called to shrink back and turn into a wallflower or a painting. We have fire. And that fire resonates and burns because it comes from him. And that is not going to be quenched by man. 
So how's it gonna look, Kat? We will stand together. And we will dominate the darkness. That's what we're gonna do. You know, when I, when I, when I first got into um, sports and I was, I was fighting in the Ultimate Fighting Championship, and I, I got to the, I got to the, the, the championship fight my first time, and and my whole dream was to become a champion, and then I was just gonna retire from the sport and just kind of live my life and, you know, just be a regular person and say, oh, just be regular business and just live in Hawaii and say, oh, I used to do the UFC, but I lost that first fight fighting for the title. And that incident, that moment right there, made me fight another 25 years. It stayed in me forever from that point. That one loss just left left something in me that, that I had to fight for the rest of my life. And maybe I'm still fighting still till today because I couldn't accept that one time. But, you know, I, I'm afraid because now after this, I don't know what could happen. I, I, I might end up doing this forever and I'm worried. I'm really worried about it. I don't think. I don't know about that. <laughs> Listen, I, you know, we're actually, okay. We're actually, uh, you know, once again, this night is about unity. The fact that we can stand together, that we can laugh. I heard Daniel Anthony's testimony, right? that we can embrace everybody who knows the truth. I just talked to the TV station. They said, why are you here? We're here because people here believe liberty is utmost important. And without liberty and freedom, the expression of liberty is freedom. And without that, we have nothing. Without that, we are slaves. So we stand together. Yes. We're here together. These organizations are here to support the cause of liberty in the society. May we stand together and watch, watch your Instagram, watch Aloha Freedom Coalition. But I, it's just an honor to be up here with you, BJ. Well, thank you, Sarah. And uh, you're a blessing. You're a blessing. Sarah. And uh, so let's bring up Jimmy yeah. Levy. Where's he at? Without Jimmy Levy, where are you at? Where's that man? You ready? Ah! You ready? From Miami, in the great state of Florida, who wants some Florida in Hawaii? Yeah. Let's open up a can of whoop ass and have Jimmy come on up. 